Hi everyone, Victoria from Kiefer Consulting again. And so in this part, we're going to go ahead and create two buttons, submit and cancel. So whenever the user is on the form and they're ready to submit, you have a button for that. And then if you want to reset the form or the user cancels it, there's a cancel button for that as well. So two buttons are going to pop up. Go ahead and align them. So I'm basically going to just create, type in submit, and then cancel. And on the right hand side, I'm just going to rename them so we can keep track of what's what. And I noticed there's an extra label right here, and then we can go ahead and delete it. And as you're going, I would suggest to rename everything just so you can keep track of everything, just because if this is the default, it goes as form one, and then you have multiple things, then it's just better to keep track of. And so with submit, on the upper function bar, we're going to go ahead and do on select and then change it to submit form. And then whatever your form name is called. So it's going to be car service form. Close that bracket and enter. And then same thing with the cancel button, but instead it will be reset form. And now you have two functional submit and cancel buttons.